what is going on everybody cerebro here and welcome back to another video for code vein now in today's video i'm going to be showing you real quick how you can one shot the frozen empress with a single one-handed sword build now this build is very similar to some of the other ones that i've showed you it's almost exactly the same except it comes down to the weapon the weapon's going to be extremely important i found that you can't just use any single um, one-handed sword it has to be specific ones so with that being said i'm just going to show you guys the build i'm going to go over the rotation very quickly again if you guys need an in-depth tutorial on the rotation and the gift attacks and buffs i go into a lot of depth about the build itself and the rotation and why we do what we do in that video but for this it should work and i'll go ahead and show you guys proof here now going on to the build what i have is the machete with a fortification of plus 10 i've tried a few other one-handed swords and this just seems to work the best just based on the stat scaling itself and the fact that its attack type is slash and crush now for blood veil again we are using the noble silver fortification with plus 10 now you're going to want this equipped again just to make sure that your gift attacks do a ton of damage whenever you go ahead and execute them i have found that this build does not work unless you have the right blood veil equipped and of course the right weapon but the blood veil is going to be super important here now for blood codes we are using the queen slayer and then for passive gifts we have one-handed sword mastery mind fortitude up survival instinct and swift destruction mind and fortitude up we're going to be switching over to strength and dexterity once we apply Apply our first buff so just keep that in mind that you have to have both of these unlocked now for the gifts i have these in the order that i'm going to be using them it just kind of makes sense to me so the first one's going to be bridge to glory which boosts our attack power then once you execute that buff you're going to be switching mind and fortitude up to the strength and dexterity up which allows you to use flashing fang which increases the power of your next attack from there you're going to be using fatal surge again this is for jack so make sure that you have jack as your partner and then from there, you're going to be using Final Journey, which immediately restores all HP and increases all abilities. Now from there, you're going to want to apply Merciless Reaper, Overdrive, and then Flame Weapon. Obviously because the Frozen Empress is weak to fire elemental damage. And then lastly, you're going to have Blood Sacrifice as well. So I'll show you guys the rotation here pretty quickly. But we're going to be using Blood Sacrifice just to regenerate our I-Core as we're applying these buffs. And then once we're done applying our buffs, we're going to use it one last time. So that way we have enough I-Core to switch it out to Severing Abyss. And then use Severing Abyss on the Frozen Empress. Now with that being said, what I will say is the Frozen Empress doesn't stay as still as the Hellfire Knight. So you might be having some issues trying to get that first shot on her. And if you miss it, you will not have the opportunity to do it again. So with that being said, what I recommend is you running up to her after you applied all your buffs. And then seeing what she does for her first attack if she goes ahead and she jumps back that does give you time to run in a little bit and get that first attack off if she goes ahead and maybe does like her swirling where she has the aura or ice i don't even know what to call it but basically she has a bunch of swirly lines around her what you want to do is wait till that's close to being done and then go ahead and execute the attack if she goes ahead and she tries to swipe at you dodge those first two swipes and then you can go ahead and get that severing abyss hit off which you'll see me do here shortly now with that being said guys this is on difficulty zero so it doesn't work for difficulty 10 but let's go ahead and show you guys the rotation so i'm going to be doing this first one right here from here i'm going to switch this all the way up to strength and dexterity then we're going to go ahead and hit that off use blood sacrifice to regain some of our icor enough to do fatal surge with jack and then we're going to use blood sacrifice again we're going to use it twice actually to get final journey and then from final journey we're going to be using blood sacrifice to apply the buffs at the bottom That's a good idea. and then we're going to use it one more time so that way we have 10 out of 10 and then we're going to switch a blood sacrifice over to severing abyss okay she's doing the swirling here so and then there you see it's 99k and then you can hack and slash away from her if you want and then pretty easy guys so as you saw there she's dead 99k basically uh, a one hitter if you would say 
Um, I haven't seen any numbers bigger than 99k. So hopefully that helps you guys if you're trying to get the ice weapon that she drops, the one-handed sword. And again, if it does help you guys, just don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys have any comments or suggestions for next videos, go ahead and let me know. If you're having issues with this, go ahead and let me know as well. Um, maybe I could try to help you or walk you through it. But it is pretty straightforward, and I have shown you guys that with other weapons like the Halberd. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. If you could help me get there, I would tremendously appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.